Hi everyone, this is Ty Williams. How are everyone doing today? I decided to do a psychic reading on what Timey, Cheetah, Jesse from um, Pretty Rap Star first season really think about the former member of AOA Jimmy. So I'm going to do it in order and I'm going to do timey. What you see in the picture is that this is timey and she is a Korean rapper from Unpretty Rap Stars and she's a secretarius as Jesse that I'm gonna do a reading last on this video so the question is what time what timey really thinks about the former member of AOA Jimmy okay let's see I feel like timey sense that that girl is a pretender that girl is trouble that girl is sneaky and she is um pretty disturbed person do you think that jimmy is a pretty um disturbed individual um i feel like she's not um in a good sense of mind when she was in Unpretty Rap Star with her and I feel like um I get a vision of there is some issue in Unpretty Rap Stars that um that and that cut out some parts about Jimmy throwing a temper tantrum or lashing out on staff workers who work with the show or low key having a walkout or stomach out out of the room when um, the other girls just hanging out and just talking talking to each other and um there is some intensity with jimmy um it's intensity with timey too but timey is very um inverted i feel like she she's a very inverted person like she doesn't put attention to herself that much she's all about hip-hop she's all about the craft she's all about talent She's all about who she is as a person. Her and her and Jesse, they both individual. They stand out, and I feel like um, why Jimmy Jimmy doesn't mess with Timmy because she's <laughs> she's she's okay. This is what I see. Jimmy knew that. She gonna get her ass whooped by Tammy because Tammy is a tough cookie. She was ready to swing. She was ready to put hands on you. That's what Tammy. Um, what is their relationship now? There is no relationship between those two. None. After the season was over, after the show was over, they go to their separate ways. And um, Timmy and doing her thing, um, Timmy reached out to certain Unpretty Rap Stars um, ladies, um, especially Jessica. Her and Jessica is still um, keeping in contact, keeping in close, like a sister bond, because they knew that only few women 
who could rap. And not too many women, not too many women rappers in Korea, like the guys, like the, a bunch of guys want to rap. But when it comes to the females, it's a few because like girls, they like to stay in the background and watch everything. And timing is more like I'm tr- like she's trying to bring women into this rap game. And she's starting, to, she's starting to be happy that women are embracing themselves, embracing, embracing these courts and talents with them. And she doesn't want to be like Jimmy that causing other females to grow. I understand that. I understand why she is not friends with Jimmy. So the next one is Cheetah. Cheetah to me is someone who is much like a mother figure, a free thinker, a free spirit. Um, there's two sides to Cheetah. One is like the mothery nurturing side that look after other people and there's the other side that you don't want to mess with. That's Cheetah. And I feel like Cheetah and Jimmy have this uh, estranged relationship. Very odd relationship with each other even to this day. And now... Um, Cheetah. I think that she been know that Jimmy Jimmy was not right at the beginning when Jimmy trying to intimidate Cheetah, and I feel like Cheetah was like, like, hey, don't be a little bitch, okay? Be more um kind to others, be more free spirit, that's Cheetah. And I feel like Cheetah witnessed um, Jimmy being not too nice with her fellow member, and she witnessed that in, I think, one of the episodes when the member visit, I think it was Choka. Like, Choka, how, is Choka was the unpretty rap stars i'm gonna look it up but um cheetah went witness of jimmy was not being nice with her members right in front of her and also i feel like jimmy get away from like she always get away from what's this it's, it's kind of like she always been protected like her bully behavior and her mean girl behavior has always been, been protected not only in the group but also on, the, on pretty rap stars as well and even her childhood too I feel like um, Jimmy is a bully always been a bully always me do you see her pictures her her middle school pictures and her high school picture she look mean and she look like she had mental issues i believe that she got narcissism narcissism disorder like narcissism personality disorder that's what i'm getting and I feel like Cheetah noticed that too. And she's trying to help Jimmy to better herself for some reason. They doesn't get along. And now she done with Jimmy and even unfollow her too. So that is what I see. So Jimmy and Cheetah or not friends. And I believe that Cheetah really doesn't like her anyway. So 
the next one, the final one is Jesse. What I'm getting with Jesse and Jimmy, they was never friends. Jesse never liked Jimmy at all. And there was a link down on down on, down the bottom and explains everything. And I believe that Jesse and her got into an argument a couple of times with um other people. I feel like Jesse is tired of her being nasty to people. And she stepped up and like telling um Jimmy like chill. Like leave people alone. Like be nice and stop being a bitch. Be humble. And that's what Jesse said. You go look in the article. She said, be humble. Be yourself. And it's not it's not good for Jimmy. I feel like Jimmy like take it as like a jab when Jessa say that to her. And I feel like Jimmy always had this deep hatred against Jesse. Like for real deep. Like I do believe that um there is a strong distance from distance between um Jesse and Jimmy and they are the two people I sense that they get constantly in arguments um behind the scenes and on pretty rap star or in the show because there is lots of hidden stuff that we don't know. And I feel like Jess, Jesse might gonna reveal it on her Instagram page and explain about not only Jimmy being a bully, but also she witnessed a lot of idols being bullied within the group. And she's gonna say, her peace about it and I feel like people need to speak uh, about the bullying culture in South Korea especially in the entertainment business and group and there was this one um, website where idols um, was put anonymous and tell about their bullying stories and their sexual abuse stories in um in the Korean website and and, and nobody translated um the Korean website about um idols and Korean celebrities talking about their abuse while they are in the entertainment business. I read one anonymous one. Um, I was using um, my um, translator and, and I read uh, this one idol was forced um, to drink a lot of um, Korean beer and wine by his um, manager and the members couldn't do nothing about it and they just scared up the manager and this guy keep drinking a beer, kicking and drinking a beer, drinking a beer till he got sick and vomit. And the manager blamed one of the members of that guy almost get um, alcohol poisoning. And the company has to um, fire the manager 
and um, put the boy into um, hiatus. I don't know who to, but I feel that will happen to um, that idol guy. I don't know who he is, but I'm guessing. I, f I don't know who he is, though. But I'm, I'm very intrigued. But anyway, I feel like Jesse going to be the one to speak out about this and talk about this and tell about her experience with Jimmy. Um, and she's going to give out interesting detail about Jimmy and how they are. Like, what I mean, like, how she is. How Jimmy really is behind closed doors. And... And the stuff that Jesse said, it gonna blow your mind. Wait and wait and see that. Wait, just wait till her Instagram or her V line or whatever social media. She gonna um, do a video on this. What happened to um, Jimmy and what she thinking about it? And she. she and she gonna say that, um, like I told you so, that that girl got issues. And and the thing with Jesse, she doesn't want nothing bad happen to Jimmy, but it's just that she feels that Jimmy need help, and she feels that Jimmy is balancing an eating disorder and having some mental breakdown with other people and and I see she she gonna talk about it and then people gonna talk about it too and she gonna talk about her bullying spirits in the entertainment industry um most like kind of like low-key bullying for Jesse and sexual harassment towards Jesse Yes, she's tough, but she's going to tell her the experience about what, what it's like to be a celebrity, you know. And I thank God that Jesse going to speak on this because she's going to, she had a lot to say about Jimmy. I'm telling you. But anyway, this is Ty Williams. Good day and goodbye.